information in the last page. Oh, and then this is uh, <laughs> this is the square miles of the polar station that we have, and then this is the years. <coughs> is it just like in one rainforest, or is it? No, it's the Amazon. Oh, okay. Okay, I got the second. Yeah. Are you going to answer the question? You're oh, answering okay, the question. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, fine. Right. Well, it um, hey, it kills off uh plant life and animal life in turn, so it kind of degrades those, not degrades, but like it makes the biosphere smaller, I guess you'd say, if you're killing off everything. Yeah. Biosphere interactions with other spheres. So the biosphere is where all other spheres on Earth work together. The biosphere includes part of the hydrosphere, atmosphere, in the atmosphere. The atmosphere protects the biosphere from the sun's, the sun's harmful rays. Um, the geosphere affects the biosphere in many ways. One example is a volcano. When a volcano erupts, um, when a volcano erupts, it shoots nitrogen and other elements into the air. When these particles settle on the ground, they produce, uh, they, they give plants um, nutrients and then in turn animals. If our planet was closer to the sun, it might be too hot to support life. If we were farther away, it might be too cold. Even the tilt of the Earth is important. Without the biosphere, or even a part of it, all other systems wouldn't work. Catch me in the atmosphere, somewhere way up in the air. Nothing but the clouds up here. Got four layers, let's make them clear. Trouble is the lowest. This is where our weather is. It reaches negative 42 at its coldest. Shadow block leaves them in the ozone haze, giving us some. And Mesa feels the coldest, never 90 at its lowest. Man, that is colder, that my throat is highest. It's the thermosphere, where the northern lights are clear. These four layers are what's making up this atmosphere. It's atmosphere to hydrosphere, that's because it's raining here. Quenching their support in life, helping out the biosphere. Hydrosphere is H2O, liquid and the ice, you know, making up the streams and the rivers that are flow. Lakes and the oceans, glaciers that are frozen, all of these things are what the hydrosphere is holding. Keeping the earth hydrated, keeping us alive. Hydrosphere is what allows the biosphere to thrive. Biosphere is all about, and yeah, we got it just right, including everything from elephants to parasites. Darwinism is the name, adaptation is the game, unique organisms, meaning no two are the same. We are cats and dogs, rats and frogs, 
We've been talking bacteria and loss. Each contributes to Earth. Some make food, some make dirt. Other plants create the cotton that makes our shirts. After too many years, we end up in the guns and work. The bugs and bacteria come near. And we become the geosphere. Ten main biomes: tundra, boreal forest, temperate, decid deciduous forest, temperate grassland, desert, savanna, tropical rainforest. You don't need to know all this. Total, freshwater, and marine. These are the different kinds of places on Earth where animals live. Fun fact: the living things on our planet are called carbon-based because most of the molecules in them are chains of carbon atoms. Self-sustaining, because the biosphere is self-sustaining, and so you already have to do anything to it. 